This week on The Wire, industry warning on spruikers, policy stimulus working, and HSBC tip growth for 2020. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this video. Now, top story for this week, industry warning on spruikers. So property investors and home buyers eager to take advantage of the favorable lending conditions and lower property prices are warned to be careful of unscrupulous spruikers. Now, industry experts have observed an increase in spruiker activity in recent months, and a warning has been jointly issued by the Property Investment Professionals of Australia, which is the body that Infinite Wealth is a member of, and uh, the Property Investors Council of Australia. Now, Margaret Lomas, which is founder of Destiny Financial Solutions, says that when it's easy to invest, people are keener and therefore less careful. So spruikers have a better chance of pushing overpriced properties in areas with little going for them, where they receive big commissions. Now, Brisbane based uh, buyer's agent Simon Presley of Propertyology says that he's been getting offers of up to 13% commissions for successful referrals. Now, the offer comes as a generic email and, for all we know, it's probably been sent to hundreds of industry people. That's what Simon uh, says. The broader public won't get those emails, uh, and what the public get is a phone call from an existing trusted source, like a mortgage broker, account, or financial planner, which is typically the channels that Spruikers move through. So definitely something to watch out for there. Next up, policy stimulus working. So new research from the Commonwealth Bank Household Spending Intention Survey confirms that monetary policy stimulus is working. It also reveals that home buying intentions rose further in October and are now close to the record highs seen in 2017. It says that CBA home buying HSI levels are consistent with an ongoing pickup in dwelling prices. CBA Chief Economist Michael Blythe says lending over the four months to September grew at an annualised pace of 52%, and that certainly looks fast enough to give some boost to housing credit outstanding. Now, however, the minutes from the RBA says the recent improvement in the housing market condition has not yet translated into stronger sales for new housing. Despite the stronger than expected pickup in established housing markets, there has been little evidence of a lift in the early stages of residential development activity. It's coming from, where, uh, the, from the body there. The good news is that the lag response to higher housing prices and a period of low building activity raised the likelihood that the dwelling investment would be stronger in the medium term than currently expected. So now moving on to our final story for the week. HSBC tips growth for 2020. So HSBC economists are forecasting national house price rises from five to 9% in 2020. This is an increase on their previous forecast of zero to 4%. Increased confidence due largely to relaxed lending criteria and lower interest rates led to an improved market from June onwards. Paul Byxham, HSBC's Chief Economist for Australia, New Zealand and Global Commodities, says the main reason is an increase in demand from buyers. We expect housing prices to continue to rise in 2020, underpinned by mortgage rates, which are likely to stay low for a considerable period of time, he says. However, while we expect to see housing demand remain strong, we also expect the recent strong house price gains in major cities to entice more sellers, increasing available supply and housing turnover. This should temper the recent pace of house price gains in Sydney and Melbourne from their current very rapid monthly rates. Other major sources, including Commonwealth Bank and SQM Research, have recently forecast strong price growth across the major cities of the nation in 2020, with Darwin the only exception. Well guys, that's pretty much it from me today. Now remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned uh, early, uh, later this week for our Just Ask Tim video series. And if you want to submit a question or there's a topic that you would like me to discuss in more detail, there'll be a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. See ya.